Hi and welcome to the video, I'm Dame and this is Dame Over and today we are taking a look at another weapon that's dropped with the weapons crate update and today is the turn of the new shotgun, the Shergrin Slug. As with the other videos in this series I'll talk you through the stats, give you my tips and tricks on how to get the most out of it and give you my own opinion on how good or bad it may be. So if you find this video useful or entertaining make sure you hit that like button before you go and if you're new around here make sure you hit the subscribe button too. So let's jump to it. I'll start by telling you that on Simthic.com, where I usually get my stats for videos, they haven't yet updated the information for the Weapons Crate update, and this affects the Shergren Slug quite a lot, as it's so different from the original variant, so making educated guesses is a bit difficult. So for this video, I'll be comparing the Model 10A Slug and the Model 1900 Slug, and using the basic stats as a benchmark for the Shergren as well. So what makes the Shergren different to the other slug variants? Well the Model 10 is a slower firing and generally better suited to long range shotgun and has a high ammo capacity for a shotgun. And the Model 1900 is very fast firing, better suited to close range and has a low ammo count. The Shergren slug in theory sits right in the middle of the two with a fire rate of 163 rounds per minute compared to the Model 10 and Model 1900's fire rates at 78 and 299 respectively. The big difference to note about the slug variants is that they have the same one hit kill range which is up to 11 meters and as I mentioned before the stats on simthic.com haven't been updated so I can't tell you for certain but it seems that the Shergren slug doesn't have a one hit kill unless it's a headshot. I could very well be wrong but after having played for a few hours with it and checked my footage to make the video itself there wasn't a single one shot kill. There is a very obvious disadvantage to this, but as the fire rate is on the fast side, you can somewhat make up for it in most situations. The added range of a slug versus a buckshot variant means that as long as you're aware of having to hit two shots to get the kill, you'll still be able to pick up a lot of kills yourself against a variety of loadouts, and if you're able to aim for the head, you'll be able to take them out with just one hit up to the high end of close range. I didn't really find the Shergren Slug excelled in any particular area apart from the fire rate coming in useful against supports and scouts, but considering the Model 1900 Slug fires much faster and has a one shot kill capability in CQB, it seems a much more sensible choice if that's how you want to play. Now I don't think the Shogun Slug is bad at all, the games I played with it went really well, but having the inherent disadvantage of a two shot kill shotgun made itself felt more often than I would have liked really, especially in those close quarters battles. I'd advise avoiding a straight up fight with any loadout that has a very fast time to kill, especially at close range, and if you do have to fight them, making sure you're staying elusive to get the drop on them is very important. Getting the drop on your opponents is very important with the Shogun Slug as you need that little extra time and when you're up close the hip fire feels a little unreliable to me so snap shooting is the way to go and for those of you that don't know what that means it means hitting the ads button followed very quickly by the shoot button this will help control your accuracy a little more overall i found the shogun slug to be a solid meh it's not particularly good in any area, but it isn't awful. It doesn't seem to have much of an advantage over the other slug variants available, with the only real difference being the lack of that one hit kill. It feels like too much of a disadvantage if you're looking to get a high score, high kill game, and especially if you're competing against other CQB specialist weapons. I'd suggest you try it out and see what you think yourself, because it is fun to use, but as far as efficiency goes, it's right near the bottom of the ladder. But that's just what I think. What do you guys make of the Shergren Slug? Have you got another Slug variant that is your favourite? And have you got any challenges you want to see me do? Make sure you let me know down in the comments below. And a quick thank you to those of you guys that are helping to support the channel through Patreon. It's because of you guys that I'm able to make content as often as I do. And I'm hopefully working towards being able to do that full time. And you guys are the first step to doing that. So thank you. And if you want to become a patron yourself, I've left a link to the Patreon page in the description. I'll also leave it on in the pinned comment. Where if you'd like to, you can support the channel from as little as $1 a month. So if you had a good time, make sure you hit that like button. If you're new around here, hit the subscribe button too. Make sure you've hit that bell button for guaranteed notifications of any new videos. Feel free to share this video with whoever and wherever you like. And until next time, that's game over. Peace.